here with head coach Jim Penders. The Huskies clinch a series win here on the road, 10-6 to over at Tulane. Coach, another really gritty win for you guys. Uh, take me through, game's tied, that next half inning, these last two nights when they have put up their big innings, you guys yeah, have responded right away. We've answered, you know, and, and uh, it was Pat again, right? I mean, uh, two, or we, no. Yeah, and, and Pat, yep. Yeah, two, two big RBIs right there, three big RBIs, answering their three with three. Um, finding a way. I mean, uh, when when it, it, you know it's a good night when the only uh, negative on my little cheat sheet here for positives and negatives is the third base coach, you know, doing a, a crappy job and, and getting Kyler thrown out. Uh, the guys played great. There's a team ball today. I thought everybody contributed. Carl had a rocky outing, um, but other than that, I thought the guys pitched really well. Um, you know, Colby, we just wanted to get a couple outs. We got one out, and then it was time. Angus was Angus was great, you know, coming in facing one of the best hitters in the country, and he made him look like a regular guy. Um, and then gets asking too, he's a pretty good, pretty good one too. So uh, he was special. Uh, Kirsten didn't have his stuff, but competed. He was Jeffrey Kirsten, finding a way, getting in trouble, but getting himself out of it. Um, Topa made a great play in left field, uh, a one-six-three. Uh, we had another double play. It was a great double play. Uh, Woody with mm -hmm. a great four to three. Winkle with a great pick on it. Um, they just couldn't get anything going. You know, Mike Chiaviti making a great catch um, on uh, on Hosey as well. That would have started an inning, I think, in the third. I mean, it was really good defense tonight. It wasn't good defense yesterday. It was really good defense tonight. And uh, guys played heads up baseball. I was really proud of the way we swung the bats too. Mike Chiaviti getting a two out RBI, and then all those two out RBIs after that. Anthony Topa. Um, so the bats are starting to come around right at the right time. Can you talk about the bottom of the order? Keo, he only gets one hit in the score sheet, but he smoked the ball a couple times tonight. And then yeah. David comes off the bench and gets you three hits. Well, in the first, he hit the, he hit the mm -hmm. heck out of that. That was, you know, had backspin on it. And um, the kid made a great catch in, in right field on him. But I liked the way he was having his at-bats tonight. I thought he was competitive in the box. You know, he looked like a little different. He had a little edge to him, and he was playing really good defense, too. His legs can change the game, too. You can see, for whatever reason, after I'm sending with him, Middle infielders are going away from home plate. Even if they make a play, I'm sending that guy at third base with two outs, and he stopped and, and still made a play. You know, I'm, I just want him to keep going, but he still made a play with his legs. So he's athletic. We know that he he has a lot of athleticism. He just got off to such a poor start, and, and then he kind of found himself on the bench. But now he's got an opportunity, and maybe makes the most of it. I, I really like the way he's playing defense, and if he can just do some little things, hit and run, you know, put the ball in play. Um, he can give us a chance. And then David, yeah, you said it, Langer was ready. I told him, I said, hey, listen, if we got to score some runs, you, you got to be ready to pinch hit, even if it's early. And he said, coach, I'm ready from pitch number one. And he's always like that. And tonight it was good to see him. You know, he's had some one-furs, but three dots. I mean, three really squared up baseballs. I thought he did a really nice job. And he plays heads up defense. He's not, he doesn't have the, the same athleticism as our other options over there, but he makes up for it with his, with his headiness. Talk a little bit about keeping your foot on the pedal. You obviously get a huge series win on the road, but try and go and get that sweep tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're not smart enough to figure out, all right, well, what are we going to set up with the pitching and all that stuff for the tournament? we got a game tomorrow. It's our job to win that game. Um, otherwise, you're disrespecting the game of baseball. So um, we're going we're gonna to do it differently tomorrow. You know, we're going to keep in mind that we can't go really long with anybody. So it's going to be staffed, and, um, and that's okay. These guys know how to, how to do that. And if we're going to win a championship, we're going to have to have everybody contribute. So look to see, you know, you might see eight, nine pitchers tomorrow, but, uh, um, you know, I don't think we're going to see Jake Wallace. We're not going to see Caleb Worcester, and that's okay. Other guys are going to have to get the job done. So um, they, they all did well tonight, uh, with the one exception there. And he'll be back on the beam and ready to go tomorrow, hopefully. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Jonesy.